So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can complete the Uekahua dungeon solo. Now when I say complete, <coughs> now when I say complete, it you can't complete it because it is an infinite dungeon, I believe. However, I want to show you guys the best ways you can get to as far in this dungeon as possible solo to get as many points as possible. Now I'm not going to be going over the gear I'm using. I do have a video up of the best gear you should be using. I don't have it all, but I do have a, a video up of some of the best gear you guys should equip. So go watch that if you want to know some good stats, some good armor for some stats. However, I will, I will recommend that for this, I would highly, highly recommend you use the fan over the scythe, especially if you're a demon, just because uh, this war tornado move is OP, uh, especially combined with the war drums, it can one shot a lot of bosses and get you out of a very, very sticky situation. Now the BDA I am using is ice. That is also good. I also believe Reaper is good. A uh, swamp also might work. Just some good, uh, some BDAs with some um, like good AOE. Now, if you are a Slayer, don't really know what to recommend there because I'm not a Slayer. However, just go for some breathing that you either enjoy or has some good AOE. Let me just uh, also say that I haven't gotten to, I think I've got maybe 3,000 points once. Uh, so yeah, it is quite hard to get points in this. Uh, this map actually, if you've got Scythe, you can use it to get up on top of there if you want to cheese it or if you want to just sit back to heal. Uh, also, you know, it should also be mentioned that, you know, some potions might come in useful. Yeah, you might have seen as well, I switched my uh, Soryu uh, when I went against that guy with the katana. That's just because if I went against him with uh, my... If I went against him with my fans, then the fans uh, could do that clashing thing. Uh, where it just stops them from hitting and like stops me from doing damage to them. So that's why whenever I go up against a katana, I just use my fists. Just because it makes it easier. It gets uh, out more damage that way. They do drop these orbs, now I'm getting double points. Yeah, the orbs do despawn, so if you get a healing orb, you can keep it there for a little while. Just don't keep it there forever, because it will despawn. Right, this is when another wave starts. So that is when a bunch of bosses come at you. And that is when the game starts to get a little difficult. You see, they just spam their moves. You just want to keep your distance, uh, and just use your moves from far away. That's why I said the war fans are really good because they've got a long range move. However, that's probably the easiest because it's only two bosses. But you can get to waves where there's like five bosses and then so on and so forth. Just keep getting more and more bosses. However, these NPCs you shouldn't really die to. The only way you would die to them is if you let them group up. So you just want to kill them as soon as they spawn. Which is why speed boost is good for this. So if you've got war drums and you get that extra speed, it's very, very useful. This is also a good way to get mastery up as well. I'm trying to upgrade my mastery on my war fans. They do more damage. So yeah, it's also a good way for mastery leveling as well. As well as normal leveling and when, as there'll be a bit at the end. Now this orb, I'm not too sure what it does. I believe it also uh, increases your when drops or your point drop even, but I'm not too sure. If you get lucky with these orbs and you get some of these double points, then well done. See, we've been in it for about 5 minutes and we've already got 1100 points. See, it's when there's a lot of them, you want to stay back. See, 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 see. See, they, like, they just stop you from using your moves. Come on, come on. Let me get my ult off, thank god. Oh, 
Oh, we got hand demon as well. Yeah, this might be me doing it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, you might be a clutch trip. Also, if you got people, then this will make it so much easier because you do get like half their points or something. Or oh, every kill they get, you get two points or something like that. So it's not too bad. Yes! Right, we said poison things OP. They have spawned again though. Well, you've got 3,700 points. See, it's not too hard if you have the right BDA, if you have the right like weapon at the time run out anyway. But yeah, we lasted for about 14 minutes solo. So obviously, if you've got a group, it would be a lot easier. See, that's why I recommend Ice and uh, War Fans. Definitely, definitely, definitely War Fans. If you do not have them, then try to get them. They're very, very good. Anyway, that is it for this video. Uh, hope this helped. Uh, so now you can solo this dungeon yourself, or if you have friends, it might make it a bit easier. Anyway, yeah, like, subscribe, join the Discord down below. If you ping me or at me, I will get you the private server code if you want a private server for Project Slayers. Anyway, goodbye.